Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Her Excellency President Tsai to deliver the congratulatory speech. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. It is an honor to join so many prominent scientists and experts from the world's top science academies and institutions to celebrate the 90th anniversary of Academia Sinica. To begin, I would like to thank President Liao, President Li, and President Ong, uh, and everyone from Academic, Academia Sinica for your hard work. I would also like to thank our friends from the diplomatic community and everyone who traveled all the way to Taiwan to join us for this celebration. Today is a very special occasion with tremendous significance for our country. So it is a privilege to extend my heartfelt congratulations to Academia Sinica, the most prestigious research institution in our country. Created in 1928, Academia Sinica has produced decades of ground breaking researches in the humanities and social sciences, mathematics and physical sciences, and the life science. For the past 90 years, Academia Seneca has striven to answer big questions, address tough challenges, and generate new ideas, not just for the country, but also for people around the world. Academia Seneca's research products have also helped Taiwan become a driving force in the global scientific and eco economic development. Many of our academicians and fellows have received international awards for their outstanding achievements in chemistry, physics, biology, public health, energy technology, and more. So the past nine decades of Academia Seneca fills us with pride, and I trust that the next 90 years will inspire excitement and optimism. I, we are optimistic because of the efforts of President Liao and everyone at the Academia Seneca, and the dynamic energy and visions they have brought into this institution. Just look at how the number of people visiting this year's Academia Seneca's open house set records. And the popularity of Academia Seneca's new popular science website. Look also at the new research initiatives from glycoscience to climate change predictions. It is clear that Academia Seneca is putting a lot of efforts into the next generation scientific research and nurturing the next generation thinkers and innovators. For my part, I can assure you that my government will continue to support basic research, both through budget allocations and policy initiatives. We will also continue to work with you to ensure sustainable development for the future generations of this country and the world. Certainly, Taiwan cannot do this alone. So to nurture talent at home and attract talents from abroad. We are making critical investments. Earlier this year, we broke ground on Academia Sinica's uh, Southern Campus, which will combine Academia Sinica's vast research capacities to Southern Taiwan's strength in agriculture, industry, and green energy to produce research that will essential, that will be essential to a sustainable future. Also last month, we inaugurated the National Biotechnology Research Park, which unites all the elements needed to push the frontiers of bio and pharmaceutical science, from animal trials to regulatory affairs. This park will also be a key hub, not just for Taiwan, but for innovators from around the world. I want to thank Science and Technology Minister Ten and other members of my administration 
who are here with us today. Thank you for working tirelessly to make sure that Taiwan will continue to play a role in the global development of science and technology. And just as it has done in the past 90 years, I trust that Academic Seneca will continue to engage in science that benefits Taiwan, the world, and humanity at large. But Academic Seneca's ability to contribute will be even greater in, partner in partnership with other science academies and research institutions, particularly those that are with us today. Science can only advance when it transcends the boundaries imposed by countries, faith, geography, gender, and disciplines. So to our international friends who are with us today, I have a simple message. That is, let us forge even deeper ties of knowledge and start even more joint programs of research so that together we can advance science for the benefit of all our societies. Congratulations once again to Academic Seneca and the science community for an amazing 90 years. We have no doubt that the next 90 years will bring even greater achievements and pride. Thank you. Thank you, President Tai. We would like to invite Her Excellency President Tai to remain on the stage.